Have you ever wondered how to set up a fast API application with Jinja2 templating? Well, in this video, we're gonna go through it step by step so you can create your first web application. I'm Eric, I'm an instructor, a software engineer, and a cloud enthusiast. So let's dive in. All right, in this quick Python fast API in Jinja tutorial, we're gonna go over how to set up Jinja templating with a fast API application. Now I already have my environment set up and I already have fast API, Uvicorn, and Jinja2 installed. If you do not have it installed, you can do this by saying pip install fast API, Uvicorn, and Jinja2. And like I said, I already have all three of those installed. Now, the very first thing we wanna do is just go ahead and create a new file for our main.py, which is going to be our fast API application. And I'm gonna start by importing and pasting two different imports. We can say from fast API, import fast API and request, and fast API.templating, import Jinja to templates. We then wanna create our app equals fast API, which we have to do with every fast API application. And then after this, we wanna say templates equals Jinja2 templates, where we pass in a directory of templates. Now you might be wondering, hmm, what's this directory of templates really mean? Well, we need to create a directory over here in our project structure that includes the HTML files for our Jinja2 templating. So we can right click and say new folder, and here we can call this templates. And inside our templates, we wanna create our HTML file and we're gonna name this home.html. And here we need to create an entire HTML file. Let's start by just saying HTML, and then I'm gonna paste in our head, our title of coding with Roby, and a link for Bootstrap, which will add our CSS to our application. After this, let's go ahead and create a body underneath our head, but inside our HTML. I'm gonna create a P tag, and inside I'm gonna say double brackets, and I am just going to print a name. Now let's go back to our main.py, and let's create an API endpoint for our Jinja2 templates. So I'm gonna say at app.git, and inside here, I'm just gonna say a slash, async def name, where we pass in a request of request. And then we want to return our templates dot template response, where inside of here, we need to say home.html. So our templates knows that it's in our templates directory. And then we're saying in there, we want to return a response to our home.html file. Now we want to say brackets, where we can pass in our request of request. And then we want to say comma name coding with Roby. So what we're doing here is we're saying inside our template, we need to find our home.html file, return the request that we're passing in, and we want to replace name with coding with Roby. And as we remember, we have name right here. So if we just go ahead and say uvicorn main colon app dash dash reload, that'll spin up our fast API application. And now inside here, if we refresh the page, we can see that we're gonna get coding with Roby printed to our HTML file. Now, what if we have a list of items and we want to loop through it and print it to a table? Well, let's go back to our main.py file and right above our import, I'm gonna create a new variable of dogs. That is a list that holds two dogs of name Milo, type golden doodle, name Jax with a type German shepherd. And then here at the end of our template response, I'm going to pass in also dogs of type dogs. And now let's go back to our home.html and now under our P tag, but still inside the body, I wanna create a new table. And this table is gonna have a class that is equal to table. And this is CSS that's coming from our bootstrap. We then wanna create a table row with two table headers inside that says dog name. And dog type. And then under this table row, let's create one more table row 
And above this table row, we wanna say brackets, 2% signs, and inside we can say for dog in dogs. And here we wanna create a table data, which is a dog.name wrapped around two brackets. And two brackets of dog.type. And then outside this table row, we want to say brackets to percent signs, where we can say end for. So we're ending the for loop. Now, if we go back to our browser and application and we refresh the page, we can see that we get coding with Roby with a table of dog name and dog type, Milo, Golden Doodle, and Jack's German Shepherd. Now, this is a quick example on how to set up Jinja 2 in your fast API application, and I will see you in the next video.